Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today I'm going to be trying out this Bobbyless Pro Nano Titanium Oval Ionic Hot Airbrush. So I have been wanting to try this out. I've heard really good things about it. I just tried another Babulous blow dryer and I did a very nice blowout, like a Dominican blowout. And let me just say, I was so impressed with that blow dryer. I don't know if I'm gonna post that video after this one or right before this one, but it's coming, so stay tuned. I hope you guys are liking Vlogmas so far. It is almost over, which is so sad. <laughs> I only have like, like four videos left, so yeah please subscribe if you're liking vlogmas so far but let's open this up let's get right into it i believe this retails for about 150 dollars and it kind of looks like the revlon one step hair dryer and volumizer check this out it has three different heat settings and it has a different technology going on it has the nano titanium technology which is supposed to make your hair a lot more smooth and shiny this brush is actually a two and a half inch oval brush so it's actually not that big i thought it was going to be bigger but i like the size of this brush i feel like it's very similar in size to the revlon plus but now that i look at it the revlon plus looks a little bit bigger but it's almost the same size as the revlon plus okay guys so i'm going to use a little bit of this color wow dream coat on each section this is a treatment that activates with the heat and i really love using this before a blowout you can only use this about maybe like once or twice a month this is a very strong treatment and it's gonna last you up to three washes so i'm gonna be linking this down below if you guys want to check it out also we'll be linking this down below in the description box it's interesting that this blow dryer i don't know if you guys can see but it says low high and then cool i would have preferred maybe cool low and then high just because i'm so used to just using the highest heat setting just putting this all the way up with every hair tool that i use so it's gonna be a little bit tricky for me to just very carefully put it in the middle and not just all the way up if that makes sense but yeah let's try this out i'm gonna apply a little bit of the dream coat about that much this is also going to help with frizz and it's going to protect your hair from the heat up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit so I'm gonna turn this on Okay, that should be enough for this section. I really like this brush. I feel like it is a little bit more rough than the Shark brush. This one reminds me a lot of the Revlon, the original, but I do feel like this one doesn't get as hot as the Revlon, the original. I'm gonna do all my hair and I'll be back with the final look and then I'll give you guys my thoughts. I'm actually gonna start the timer for this because I wanna see how long it's gonna take me to do all my hair and i am going to use the color wild dream coat on each section so you guys will see me spraying this on every single section and remember to use a pretty good amount this part is a little bit tricky because i'm so used to just going like this just putting it all the way up but it has to be in the middle in the high heat setting so it's not a big deal but it's just something that i kind of would prefer if the high heat setting was all the way at the top. Hey guys, I'm back and I just finished doing this side. I actually filmed a TikTok doing this side, so if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, I'll put my TikTok handle right here. Um, follow me on TikTok. I post a lot of stuff on there that I do not post on here on YouTube. So yeah, go ahead and check out my TikTok. But anyways, this is the final look. I think my hair looks very smooth. I do have couple of comments and thoughts that I want to share with you guys so I feel like this doesn't get as hot as I would want it to like the shark flex style or even like their babyless blow dryer let me show you guys 
what I'm talking about because this is a blow dryer that I have been obsessed with. This blow dryer from Babyliss, I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. But this one is very similar to this one. The only thing is that this is a blow dryer brush and this is a regular blow dryer. But oh my god, I have noticed that my blowouts turn out a lot more smooth and they last way longer when I use a round brush and a regular blow dryer. I can see why at the beauty salons they still use this technique because it really does give you the nicest and smoothest results. I know it's a little bit harder to do and it takes a little bit of practice. I have been practicing a lot and I feel like this is giving me the best blowouts lately this technique if you guys want to see a step-by-step -step video of how i blow out my hair with a round brush and a regular blow dryer i'm going to link it down below i filmed a video trying this out and i don't know if i'm going to post it after this or before this i think i'm going to post it after this but guys stay tuned if i do post this after this video because wow this blow dryer is incredible incredible and if you like to use a regular blow dryer and a brush i feel like you are going to love this and whenever i use a blow dryer brush i feel like my hair starts getting a little bit frizzier sooner like as you can see even right now i literally just did this front section and i feel like it's starting to get just a little bit like wavy at the root so with my round brush i'm able to kind of focus the blow dryer and the heat on the roots and wherever i need it the most and i don't know i've just been really really liking that blow dryer technique i'm also able to use a smaller round brush like this one to really get in there um so yeah i have been kind of loving doing blowouts like this with a regular blow dryer and a brush i never thought i would say that because i used to hate it but once you practice and get the hang of it i promise you these blowouts will last you the longest i liked this blow dryer don't get me wrong it's just that i don't see myself using it that much because i kind of rather use this one or the shark it is a good blow dryer but i feel like i had to do a couple of passes to get the smoothest look and i feel like it does look pretty smooth i don't have a ton of waves or anything going on but it took me almost 50 minutes to do my hair and to me that is a long time with a blow dryer brush i can see how maybe using a round brush and this blow dryer could take me the same amount of time or even more to do all my hair but i'm gonna get nicer results and my blowout is going to most likely last longer and i won't start to get waves you know coming through at the roots like do you see how at the root it's just starting to get a little tiny bit wavy i just want to try something quick because i feel like i can get this front section way smoother so i'm going to use this and a round brush and let's see what i'm able to do okay so this blow dryer gets very very hot but it gave me so much shine at the front and i feel like my roots got a little bit more smooth than before and if you do this from the start on damp hair you are going to get better results than doing it on dry hair but i really love what that did to the front of my hair so yeah guys watch this video where i try out and i do a whole blowout with this blow dryer it is insane and i really really love it it's only like 150 this definitely gets very hot but i feel like if you use a heat protectant and if you don't use a straightener afterwards or extra heat you should be fine um i'm gonna keep using this and i'm going to try and perfect my blowouts at home because i really want to be able to do salon looking blowouts at the comfort of my home so yeah stay tuned overall i think this is good if you're starting to do your own hair and if you have more like wavy hair this one is very similar to the t3 micro airbrush duo i feel like it gets just as hot but the brush on this one i like a little bit better it's a little bit more rough so if you have very fine hair, you might not like it. But overall, this hair tool is not bad at all. I feel like I am not going to use it that much though. And I do think I'm going to use the Shark Flex style more. Or definitely this one. This one, I am definitely going to keep using. I'm telling you guys, this blow dryer is crazy. It's so strong and it gives you very smooth results but anyways that is it for this video if you want to buy any of these hair tools i'm going to link all of them down below and i'm going to link down below the color wow as well i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye bye